The gas mixture exits from the reactor top and after being cooled in a heat exchanger, it enters the separation drum. In this drum, gas and liquid are being separated from each other. Liquid and gas are returned to the reactor by a pump and blowers. This plan was scheduled for startup procedure after implementing the capacity increase project in September 2010. For pre-commissioning and testing of the piping, the operating group pressurized the unite with nitrogen. During the pressure test, it was determined that the gas return line from the blower to one of the reactors was leaking and one section of the pipe needed replacement. Because it was not possible to start up the unit before replacing this part, the management and operation team decided to perform the pre-commissioning activities including calibration of the instrument. One of the instruments that was tested, was the level gauge of the reactor. To calibrate the level gauge, the reactor should be filled with liquid, however, because the defective section of the reactor outlet pipe was removed, the operators decided to isolate that outlet by blind spade and issued the work permit for insulation. The maintenance team inserted spade between the relevant flanges as well. The injection of hex into the reactor was started at 16.15. After about two hours, by increasing the pressure inside the reactor, a leak was observed around the flange that was blinded by the inserted spade. The operation team diagnosed that the leakage can be stopped by applying more torque on the bolts. After fixing the leak, the filling operation continued and the reactor was filled up to a 78% of its volume and pressure up to 4.5 bar according to the instructions. The calibration procedure was completed at about 2138 and the level gauge of the reactor was calibrated by the instrumentation team. The maintenance activities were temporarily suspended until 22 because of shift change time. At 21.53, the level gauge showed a sudden reduction in the liquid level and the pressure gauge showed a sudden decrease in pressure. The decrease was rapid in 100 seconds when the hexin level dropped to 50% and also the pressure dropped to 1.6 bar. Less than 3 minutes later, a loud explosion was heard.